Imagine a world filled with darkness and despair, and then picture a glimmer of light that emerged in the most unexpected place. Stay tuned to find out more. Welcome back to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio. If you're new to our channel, Padre Pio was a Capuchin friar, mystic, and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint, and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member, or a friend. And now to our story. The year is 1917, and the world is at war. Nations are fighting, trying to destroy each other. Mothers and fathers are horrified as their children perish. Fathers bury their sons, and sons and daughters mourn their parents. People are dying, and the losses are in the millions. This leaves the people wondering if they have been forsaken and if they deserve such suffering. In contrast, in a small field on the western edge of Europe, in Portugal, Our Lady appears to three innocent shepherd children with a message that will profoundly impact the world for generations to come. It's a message of both tragedy and hope. On May 13, 1917, the shepherd children reported seeing Our Lady brighter than the sun, shedding rays of light clearer and stronger than a crystal goblet filled with the most sparkling water and pierced by the burning rays of the sun. She wore a white mantle edged with gold and held a rosary in her hand. She asked the children, Will you offer yourselves to God and endure all sufferings that He sends you as an act of reparation for the sins by which He is offended and as a prayer for the conversion of sinners? The children, without hesitation, answered in the affirmative. Our Lady assured him, You will have to suffer a lot, but the grace of God will be your strength. With her words, a brilliant light emanated from her hands, penetrating the deepest parts of their souls and illuminating their connection with God. This profound experience led them to fall on their knees and pray, O Holy Trinity, I adore you. My God, I love you in the Blessed Sacrament. After a few moments, Our Lady added, Pray the Holy Rosary daily. Pray for peace in the world and the end of this war. And with that, the message ended. Now the message delivered by Our Lady of Fatima stresses three crucial elements, prayer, sacrifice, and the daily recitation of the Rosary. And Padre Pio fully complied with Our Lady's request. First, Prayer was the foundation of Padre Pio's life. He gave up not only bad and morally unacceptable things, but also good things. For instance, he slept very little and refused food that was brought to him. He surrendered his will entirely to God so that he could do with him as he pleased. This way, Padre Pio reached a level of prayer where his soul prayed constantly day and night. Just as air is necessary for our existence, so was prayer essential for Padre Pio. Secondly, Our Lady asked for sacrifice as an atonement for the sins of the world. The shepherd children understood that true love for God demanded detachment from worldly temptations. Padre Pio was also aware of this. Since the time of his novitiate, Padre Pio was required to be completely detached from the world, to love God fully. Now it might come as a surprise to some, but this even meant completely separating from his parents. For instance, when they visited him, he would not look them in the eyes. This might seem very strict and challenging, painful even, but Our Lady also told one of the children, Do not be discouraged, I will never leave you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the way that will lead you to God. The same promise applies to all who seek the protection of Our Lady. This brings us to the final point, praying the rosary. Our Lady asked the children 
to recite the rosary daily. Our Lady referred to the Terso, or five decades of the rosary, and this prayer was Padre Pio's favorite prayer. Padre Pio took the spiritual war on earth seriously, and he used to refer to the rosary as his weapon. Young man, bring me my weapon, he would say, referring to his rosary. It seemed that Padre Pio never stopped praying the rosary. He prayed as many as 34 rosaries per day. This was possible only because he renounced all earthly things. He relied on this spiritual aid to endure in faith, overcome evil, and guide souls to God. In conclusion, we see that Padre Pio faithfully followed the message of Our Lady of Fatima through his unwavering commitment to prayer, sacrifice, and the Holy Rosary. In a world plagued by conflict and disobedience to God's will, we must remember that we are engaged in a spiritual battle, but Our Lady's message at Fatima holds the key to victory, the Holy Rosary, forged by her who crushes the head of the serpent. So let us not underestimate the power of the rosary as our spiritual weapon. Like Padre Pio, we can make it an integral part of our lives, offering prayer and sacrifices to atone for the sins of the world and to bring peace to our troubled times. Thank you for listening. Please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories or our playlist Padre Pio Thoughts for the Day. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Coli Mass. You will find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.